We stayed at this park in Suncheong for two days, but some people beside us partied and left a huge mess. The next morning the park keeper thought it was us and woke us up in rage. We cleaned up our stuff and stormed out of there. Cycle touring brings up a lot of unexpected surprises, especially when we are still quite new to it and still learning about the best way to do things. We were a bit defeated to start the day, and took the bus from Suncheong to Gangjin to get to the top of the Samjinggang. It was Eugene's first time cycling it, and I had some hope inside that the beautiful nature would lift our spirits. The weather was also on the exact same page as our moods were. Nice and cloudy. Not a super bright start, but that just happens sometimes, right? But this uh, Samjinggang is so beautiful, so I think the environment will heal us along the way. Definitely excited to be back here for the second time riding the Samjinggang. Yeah, let's enjoy the landscapes. Like on Yongsanggang, there's so many people, but on Samjinggang, there's almost nobody. I don't know why it's not a more popular bike path, but strongly recommend it here for sure. Normally you cross this bridge to the west side of the river, but construction kept us on the east side for a bit of a new experience from last year. get to the stamp we have to cross this like rock bridge here Our moods changed 180, not even 20 kilometers into the Samjinggang bike path. There was still a long road ahead on our tour through Korea, but both of us were just happy to be right where we were, enjoying the moment. Samjinggang, you can't really like describe it. You can't show it in a video and show its true beauty. You definitely have to come here and check it out because I mean, when you're biking like this and filming, you can't film like every two minutes, right? Or else you just don't go anywhere. If anyone's coming to Korea and wants to check out the countryside, come to Somjinggang. Seriously, this is the most beautiful bike trail in all of Korea, I think. We were now back in Suncheonggun. The landscape was changing with the famous yellow yuche flowers, and we had all the time and space in the world to enjoy the beautiful surroundings. gonna stop here but for anyone that's looking for a spot uh, that place right there is really good secluded area for camping and there's a Hanaromata pretty close It 
It was now 4 p.m. and we had about 30 kilometers to go to get to Koksong, our destination for the day. We ended up cycling through the vast farmland for most of it, and then we reached a beautiful forest valley. For a country 100 times smaller than my home country Canada, Korea's nature is surprisingly diverse, and shouldn't be overlooked if you're thinking of coming here someday. Almost finished the day of riding. Yeah, get this one last stamp today. Head into Goksa. The late afternoon sun was so beautiful. Living in the mountains growing up, I never really got these golden hour moments because the sun would dip below the mountains. I'm starting to appreciate the beauty you find in the countryside a lot more and can understand why some people would choose to live here. Babe, Yogi, since she cannot see sweet tea. Last one of the day, babe. Oh, no, I'm doing it so. Nigga. Junior is so soft. Better than nothing. We rode into Goksong and stayed the night, and we are back on the road the next morning. Good afternoon. We are in Goksong now, and we stayed at a hotel last night. Just did a little birthday celebration. Just had some Chinese food, and it's about 12 p.m. And we have 80 kilometers left to the Sumjingang. So we're just gonna knock out half of it today, probably. Just keep it mellow. A little easy day today, and uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get. Some people are smart, some people are careful, and then there's us. We like to goof around sometimes, and this is one of the stupidest things we've ever done. Luckily Eugen was okay, and our drone survived with just a broken propeller. I could easily just cut this out and pretend that we always make good decisions. But we're humans, and sometimes we're stupid. At least that's how it is for me. One thing for sure is I'll never try and land a drone on someone ever again. cool over here there's a bunch of these like red flowers no idea what they're called but uh in korea people go crazy over flowers they travel across the country to see them so about uh five kilometers back we just got really cocky and we were just fooling around almost hurt Eugene really badly and luckily Eugene's okay we'll just take it as a lesson i don't know why I do stuff like that but I regret it for sure Belong with the swans, dancing romance in a cold with the signs, keep me alive. Shimmering, glittering, make ways in the All right, that was a really fun section. Lots of uh, beautiful scenery on the way. Definitely feeling really good right now. I remember there's like a section of car road here. I think it's like 10 to 15 kilometers or so. Not the most scenic part, but at least you can see the trees are kind of uh, overhanging the road. That's kind of nice that the trees are providing some shade and we can keep enjoying. We've gone about 30 kilometers today and it's been going really good so far. The wind has been uh, at our back, so not using as much energy as we were back at the Yongsangang for sure. There's a ton of bugs here though for sure, so wear your sunglasses if you have them. And uh, we're just gonna go probably another 10 to 15 kilometers until a bridge called Namdo Daegyo, I think it's called. Lots of really nice scenery today. It's been a beautiful ride. So we're really enjoying it and lots more to come.
We ended up back on the shared car road for the last 15 to 20 kilometers or so. Our second day on the Sumjingan was similar to the first, with a rough start but an amazing finish. We still have 800 kilometers to go until we get back to our home in Seoul, but we're so motivated and excited to see what happens along the way. <laughs> what you doing? Babe, watch out, there's bears. Oh. <laughs> I don't see any, babe. <laughs> I've never seen one. <laughs> we then made it to Namdo Degyo, our destination for the day. Last one for today. Whoa. Good job Hello. there. How's the ride today? Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna find a place to camp nearby and get something to eat. So that'll do it for today. We crossed the bridge into the village and found a random Samgyeopsal restaurant. It was absolutely unreal and we strongly recommend it if you end up here. We then crossed the bridge and found an amazing camping spot that we strongly recommend. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of our journey next week. Wow. Why? Why do you exist? Just <laughs> even